Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and welcome to Learn and Tech Presents SharePoint Online Tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create your SharePoint Online account for trial purpose so it's one month trial you can create and you can start working with SharePoint all the tasks you work in your office you can perform right here in your personal computer so what you have to do you have to just go to microsoft.com and there is a product section you have to go there for business select office for business once you're there you can see there is a plant and pricing just click on that and uh, you will be redirected here so there's two tab here once for home once for business so I'm gonna select for business because there's a trial for business so if you go there there is a different uh, you know section or plans available there so office 365 for business business premium and office business essential and there is a monthly cost given per user according to a per user right if you go down there <coughs> there is options for try for free and try for free so uh, we do have option for these two plan try for free so i'm gonna select the business premium one so i'll just go there and i'll click on try for free option here and now what you have to do you have to select your country your first name and your last name <coughs> and just click on next <coughs> Uh, what's the username the same that you need to, to create here is so i have already created an account with quality one earlier so i'm going to create it with the quality two and i'm going to put passport for this so once that is done you can check this box email and phone over there and click on create my account so do you want to save this password so you have to provide <coughs> to prove that you are not a robot you are so that you have to just verify your either your phone number or just select call me often and they have told me i to call my pen number and i just put here and i'll click on next so we'll see that how it goes on <coughs> So it will take some time to create your account so once it is done we can sign up for sign in our office 365 account so you can see that your portal dot office 365 and this is my username info at the radio quality dot dot on microsoft.com and once it is done you have to just go there and log in there and you can start working with the shop so you are ready to go just click on that and we will be to our login page here right so this is our ukality tech that is created and i've already logged in there and you can see that there is an option coming to you know telling me what i can do with all these things so what i have to do now i have to create a sharepoint site here so there's a lot of option in your site admin section there so you can go there and see all the section what it's up to and i'll just take you through that's how we can create our sharepoint team site there i'll just take it through just click on sharing over there so you are a you have all admin access which normally may be or may not be you do not have in your organizations but here you will have all these things so you have to just click on next next and next so here you are in your SharePoint admin section where you can create add a domain here can create user additional user you want to create install software for your office 365 online version so all these things are here so 
in our admin center now what you have to do is just go in a admin center and there is an option of SharePoint just click on that and you will be uh, redirected to a, a different URL that is ukality.admin.sharepoint.com so now you are in your SharePoint environment here so you can see that all the SharePoint things in info path, user profile, BCS, terms to record management, all these things are here. So what you have to do is you can set up your time zones. I don't want to go there right now. And now what I want that I want to create a theme site in SharePoint. I just go in a new section, create a private site collection. So whatever you need to create, I'm going to create a new site collection over here. So you can create your site collection here. So what I'm going to do is. <coughs> I'm gonna put this site collection a name Ukality Team, and so the basic URL will be ukality 2shippingcom After that, there will be a forward slash. Either you can select sites or a teams. So I'm gonna select teams, and after that, put your site name. So I will put my site name is Intranet. Right, that is done, and now select from the collaborations section that what kind of site you want to create either you want to create a collaboration site enterprise publishing or custom so I'm gonna create collaboration site so there is in a collaboration there is a developer blog project community site so I'm gonna create team site that's fine with me who will be the admin uh, <coughs> I will be the default admin here so I will just click on OK and so <laughs> Uh, it's mandatory to so I have to just add a user here so what I'll do that I will just type ukality and there is our default site will come up here and this is ukality text the administrator and just click on ok so this is gonna create a team site for me and I can start working with my ship on team site so I think we are ready to use our site now so just click on my intranet site what I've created and I'll have to just click on this there you can see that I'm on my team site page you just go in your site content section and you can start working by creating a document library site pages apps whatever you want to create so all these things are here and you can start working with the team side the way you work on <coughs> in your offices or in a professional environment so this is a very good tool where you can uh, you know learn things and if you want to do some out of the box functionality for SharePoint and you want to work and test it out something in your home so this is one month trial you can work with it and you can start learning SharePoint so thank you so much